this, that takes a huge amount of time to do the iDrag, even though it hasn't got a license or one. Okay, so currently I've left it plugged in, the iDrag. So that takes a good minute. minutes. Trying to initialize something we don't even use. Oh no. Okay so that was with the cable in. Last time we got in I pressed F11. So in other words this thing's not gonna boot. Well without the iDrag you can't, you can't do it remotely. If we have bloody iDrag we can do it remotely. But if we can't even plug it in, well, maybe this will make no difference. It didn't come up as an IP anyway. But we couldn't access the settings anyway. Well, we can try flushing the whole of iDRAC with the Windows update. I mean, I would say it's a hardware problem rather than a... You would have thought if it was just software, it could do a rollback. So it's when the cable in, is in. So let's give it a chance to not do anything with the cable out. And we can't turn off the thing in the BIOS because we can't change anything. So I think you might be right. Flashing the BIOS is step one. That's just so weird. It does all those messages about the iTrack. 